Cope's Vulcan has been providing valves to the power industry since 1903. Recognized worldwide as a leader in valves for severe and critical service applications, Cope's Vulcan's strength lies in the ability to provide innovative valve solutions for customers' application needs. The steam turbine bypass system is a critical part of the safe and efficient operation of all power stations. The performance requirements of the steam turbine bypass valves present one of the most arduous and critical of all valve applications. Demanding specific design to withstand the high pressures and temperature cycling to which it is subject. The Cope's Vulcan DSCVSA turbine bypass valve has evolved over many years to be at the forefront of today's thermodynamic engineering in steam conditioning. The DSCVSA steam turbine bypass valve here is in the closed position. The main plug is fully seated and the pilot tandem plug is closed. The DSCVSA valve has a very tight shutoff in the closed position as a minimum ANSI FCI 70-2 class 5. It achieves this tight shutoff by utilizing a pilot plug design so that in the closed position, the main plug is unbalanced with the full steam pressure acting on the top of the plug. This load, combined with the actuator thrust, results in very high seat contact loads, which ensures a very tight shutoff. When an open command signal is received, the actuator retracts and the pilot plug is the first to open. This allows P1 steam to flood through the large pilot plug port to the underside of the main plug. The main plug is now balanced, reducing the actuation thrusts required. High pressure balancing, or P1 balancing, is a key design feature of the DSCVSA for reliable, smooth operation. Some other designs employ low pressure, or P2 balancing. However, these low pressure balancing systems rely on auxiliary balancing seals, such as piston rings and close tolerance sealing surfaces, to prevent the high pressure steam unbalancing the trim. In operation, if these seals or surfaces wear or become damaged, the trim quickly becomes unbalanced and stem loads dramatically increase and fluctuate, which can result in the valve oscillating violently or even unable to open on command. Now with the pilot plug open, high pressure inlet steam has flooded the underside of the main plug and the steam atomizing unit is now operating in preparation to receive the incoming cooling water from the water control valve. The pilot plug shoulder has now engaged with the underside of the tandem cap of the main plug. The main plug now starts to lift and the main seat opens. As the main plug opens, steam first enters the valve via a heavy-duty distribution spacer. The steam passes through the spacer by means of numerous holes evenly positioned around the circumference. This heavy-duty distribution spacer has been specifically designed to negate any upstream pipework-induced flow disturbance being communicated to the main plug. Therefore, Long radius bends, or isolation valves, can be fitted directly to the valve inlet to minimize installation space. The main plug is fully guided by the cage and spacer to ensure complete plug stability through full travel. After the inlet steam has passed through the distribution spacer, it now travels through the main seat area to the underside of the main plug via large feed ports. With the main plug now lifted, the pressure-reducing ports of the cage are now open to allow the steam to be pressure-reduced in a controlled manner. As the main plug opens, further pressure-reducing ports are exposed and the steam flow rate increases. Cope's Vulcan can supply the DSCVSA steam turbine bypass valve with its industry-proven active noise attenuation trim styles, single and multi-stage hush, or the multi-labyrinth, multi-disc raven. The pressure-reduced steam exits the cage into the outlet section of the steam bypass valve. The steam pressure in this area is slightly higher than the final downstream pressure. This final pressure drop is taken across the outlet diffuser. The outlet diffuser has several functions. 
It aligns the steam that has exited the pressure-reducing cage, providing a perfect mixing zone for the introduction of the cooling water. It also provides a very secure anchor point for the steam atomizing head. The diffuser forging can also be used as a material transition point to eliminate on-site dissimilar welding, as the bypass valve is an ideal point which piping engineers can utilize to change piping class and material. The cooling water enters the DSCV SA directly into the steam atomizing head. The cooling water is forced into an annular chamber, which is created by a multi-hole combining tube. The combining tube uniformly directs the cooling water into the atomizing zone. The energy available in the high-pressure steam is efficiently converted into a high-velocity expanding jet of steam. The cooling water is instantaneously atomized and travels forward into the Venturi section of the atomizing head. Here the steam and finely atomizing cooling water decelerate and expand as heat is transferred from the atomizing steam into the cooling water. This intimately mixed fluid exits the Venturi section with the consistency of a hot fog. As the cooling water is finely atomized and preheated, the final desuperheating takes place directly after the outlet diffuser section. With the outlet diffuser aligning the main steam flow to create an excellent mixing zone, the final stage of desuperheating occurs rapidly and evenly, without danger of thermal shock or water dropout in the downstream pipework. As final evaporation occurs very quickly, then the required downstream straight line lengths are kept to an absolute minimum. The DSCV SA was specifically designed to achieve extremely high turndowns and wide performance envelopes. This is realized by numerous trim options and the method of cooling water introduction employed, steam atomization. Steam atomization has several benefits over mechanically spraying the cooling water via nozzles. Mechanical spray nozzles, even spring-loaded types, are limited in their turndown as the water atomization and spray pattern degrade as the water flow rate and available pressure differential reduces. As the water demand reduces, the spray water control valve closes and the spray valve trim absorbs the water pressure differential, leaving little pressure differential for the spray nozzles. This lack of pressure differential at the spray nozzles does not allow them to atomize the spray water, leading to the water pouring into the steam rather than a fine atomizing mist. Mechanical spray nozzles also rely on the surrounding steam velocity to provide adequate mixing. When the steam load reduces, so does the steam velocity and the ability of mechanical spray nozzles equally reduce. This effect manifests itself with poor downstream steam temperature control and water dropout. Water dropout can be very damaging as cold water will track along the bottom of the inside wall of the downstream pipe, while uncooled superheated steam travels along the top and sides. This produces high thermal shocks, which can lead to steam header fracture. The DSCV SA employing steam atomization for the cooling water introduction has several major benefits. The atomizing steam preheats the cooling water and significantly accelerates the evaporation and a superheating process. Equally important is to finely atomize the incoming cooling water. Very fine atomization produces extremely small water droplet sizes with a massively increased surface area to promote rapid heat transfer. The atomizing preheated water is introduced into the center of the steam flow with the finely atomizing cooling water being carried by the atomizing steam itself and therefore has no dependency on the main steam velocity. Therefore, for turndown, the DSCVSA is unrivaled. When a closing signal is received, the main plug smoothly extends back into the cage, which proportionately decreases the steam flow rate. The main plug continues to close until the main seat is engaged. At this point, virtually all the steam flow has ceased. 
the actuator continues to extend until the pilot plug engages with its seat. At this point, full inlet steam pressure is applied to the top of the main cage, and the underside of the cage decays to downstream pressure. Effectively, the trim is now unbalanced. This unbalanced force significantly augments the seat contact load, resulting in a very tight and repeatable shutoff. Steam turbine bypass systems must be able to react and modulate very quickly under emergency conditions, such as a turbine trip. Stroking speeds of less than one second may be required. The DSCV SA can be supplied with either pneumatic or hydraulic actuation to meet this critical requirement. The DSCV SA can be mounted in the steam header in any orientation, allowing full flexibility to the plant piping engineers. All actuators supplied with the DSCV SA steam turbine bypass valves are designed to be self-supporting in a horizontal orientation. Therefore, no additional supports are required. As demonstrated, earlier upstream and downstream straight line lengths are kept to a minimum with this world-leading design. There are no special tools required for maintenance of the DSCVSA. The DSCVSA is not a high maintenance valve. However, the COPE's Vulcan engineering team were tasked with easy maintenance within their design brief. The complete trim is a quick change style with no welded in components or large internal threaded parts. The whole trim assembly is held in compression by either a compression ring or the bonnet. By simply removing the compression ring or bonnet, the whole trim simply slides out of the top of the valve. Therefore, in situ maintenance, should it be required, is both expeditious and uncomplicated with no need for any specialized tooling or training. The DSCV SA can be mounted in the steam header in any orientation with almost infinite connection sizes and materials to suit the pipework, allowing full flexibility to the plant piping engineers. Hot reheat IP and LP steam is bypassed to the condenser, normally via spargers, dump tubes, and is mounted in the condenser inlet duct. Cope's Vulcan can supply these spargers in several designs, single or multi-stage to minimize noise. The spargers are manufactured from alloy steel to resist the effects of erosion. Mounting style and the steam connection are butt weld or flanged mounted and available with material transition sections if required to negate any dissimilar steel welding at site. Each sparger is specifically sized and matched to the DSCV SA steam turbine bypass valve for optimum operational performance, which limits steam velocity, noise, and vibration.